All right, a lot of people clamoring for Kenny Pickett. XO. Been watching him all year long. It hasn't been very good all year long. He's really good in preseason at deciphering coverages, get the ball out of his hands, and then everything changed when he got into the regular season. Wasn't seeing the field very well. Had some issues around him, coordinator, some of the play calls, and then obviously some miscommunication with his guys. Okay, so we switched coordinators. Okay, how much effect can that really have? Well, I tell you what, this is the best game that I've seen Kenny Pickett play as a pro. Why is that? It's because he was more definitive and comfortable in this game than I've ever seen him, okay? So you're going to see it over and over and over again on this tape, okay? So right off the bat, we got a little play action, and we're simply running four verticals. Four verticals, he's really good at throwing the go routes on the outside, comfortable with that with his two wide receivers, but it's four vertical. We're going to get a too high look right here. Everything comes off of Wilson, the Mike linebacker. If he opens to one side, we're going to try to read it inside out to the other side off of this safety, kind of what we call a two-on-one off of that safety, but I got to see where the Mike linebacker goes. He opens to the top of the screen. Perfect. Look at this. Just watch Kenny Pickett. Sees it, plants, throws. Like there is no hesitation in between two guys. Boom. Money ball to his man, Fryermuth. And that's what you're going to see. Definitive decisions, hitting the back foot, getting the ball out. Okay, so here we are again. Seeing the late rotation, rotation here, even though they got a safety dropping down high, we're simply running double curls with the flat. Okay, he's looking down the middle to get the rotation, then his eyes are gonna come down here to the bottom of the screen right away. Okay, to the bottom of the screen. What am I looking at? I'm seeing this guy right here. This guy's getting depth to take away the curl. Boom, put it right here on your back right now. Okay, so he's trying to wrap it around him, doesn't have it. Get it out to your back. And we're rolling, getting close to the sticks. Eyes in the right spot. Definitive with your throws. Here we go again. Okay, so we're going to see on the snap, this safety gets wide. So he takes away that one-on-one -on -one there. This safety stays tight. Once again, we've got a influence post, guy down the middle of the field, and then we work to the strong side. But he sees... That rotation with the backside safety, watch again. Get into your back foot. Set, boom. Great throw. Beats the safety. Wraps it around the Mike linebacker. Perfect throw down the middle of the field. This is where you're starting to see why he was drafted number one overall. That ability, that timing. Here we go again. This one's kind of tough. Okay, so they're going to run a double post here and down in the red zone, and this happens really, really fast. We've got a quarters look. So as a quarterback, we're gonna read this safety right here, okay? That safety, if we influence him with the inside post, we gotta be ready to rip this post on the outside. If not, we work down to the underneath routes, okay? Just enough, he holds inside, holds on that hash, gets influence. You see Kenny's already throwing it, may have needed to be even a tick quicker down here in the red zone like to plan on the back foot and no hitch and just let that thing go but look how tight the window is right there it's not an open window right you got to anticipate and you got to make a good throw right there and boom he puts it between a little bit behind on the back shoulder but man this should have been caught great read definitive with it eyes in the right spot boom hitting that tight window once again bringing pressure Okay, see what Cincinnati's doing, right? Everybody up here, okay? So it's blitz zero. They are bringing pressure. They got man-to-man -man across the board, okay? You know what you got, okay? Here, we've got a hook. Here, we've got a quick crosser. Either one of them can be a winner for you. I'd like to go to the stationary ride a little bit more because I know where he's going. I know where he's stopping. When you have a guy crossing, there's a lot of different things that can happen. How soon does he get there? When does he cross that defender? All of that stuff. But it's okay. I'm not mad at him. It's a good route. And boom, we got it right there. He gets his arm hit a little bit. We've got it right here with him separating across there. But again, you see how hard it is, especially with bodies in here and guys popping out. This one to me is a little bit more definitive. But either way, it's pick a guy. But he knows what he wants to do. He sees the pressure. He's peeking to this left-hand side to see if these guys are coming. He's peeking to that left-hand side to make sure that guy doesn't fall off and fall into his crosser, sees that that guy's coming. Boom, he's going to replace it with the throw. 
Doesn't work out. We don't get a completion. They weren't great in the red zone. We saw that. Drop touchdown pass. They're a knockdown uh, on the throw inside the red zone. So they didn't get a lot of points, but still the best game that I've seen Kenny Pickett play. All right, look at this one. Okay, we're going to the four strong look. So we got our four strong over here. We're trying to get everybody on the defense to push over this direction and get our one-on-one -on -one back here. So he's going to come back and peek at it. Corner jumps down inside as well as the defensive end is going to pop out there. So just watch his eyes. He goes back there. Boom, he's there. But look how quickly he's off it. He recognizes what's going on. Now I'm back to the inside, know exactly where I'm going. I am planted, ready to throw. They clear out the middle. I'm going to replace right here. Boom, balls out of his hand. Look how quickly. Reading one, back to two, ball out of my hands. We are playing fast. We're definitive. We're confident in what we're doing. And that has made all the difference. When I've seen him throughout the rest of the year, there's been moments where he's been decisive and confident, and this has been the same result. But there's been a lot of moments where he's not confident what he's seeing. His eyes are in the wrong spot, and he's not sure where to go, okay? So this one right here, I'm just showing this is kind of some teaching tape, okay? So they're gonna run what we call a pylon, okay, and over. Then they got their back going to the flat, so we normally are gonna get the high-low on the over and the flat, but we always gotta peak the pylon first, okay? so. It starts with, we're going to peek and see and make sure that we have leverage on the deepest defender. Okay, so safety's there. We've got leverage on the deepest defender. So once I have leverage on the deepest defender, now I'm going to read the flat defender because the flat defender is the guy that I'm going to end up reading on this high-low. So as I come out, if I'm Kenny, I'd like to see him. Okay, so you're setting over there. Okay, look at this relationship right here. Okay, this corner's already down. You got one-on-one. -on -one. I'd love to see him take a shot there to that deep corner. You see it right there? Lay it out there, lay it to the pylon, go get yourself a touchdown. He doesn't, so he comes back to the inside, feels this guy getting depth, who's the flat defender. Now I'm just going to kick it out to my swing right there. Now, I know this guy's open in the middle of the field, but he's really my last read because I'm going one, I'm trying to find the over two, I'm going here three, and then I would come inside four. So don't just look at the tape and go, oh, why didn't he throw it inside? That guy's more open because his progression never got him there. But I like this. If you're not taking this shot, read the flat defender. He's deep, and you drop it to your back just like Kenny's doing right here. Okay? Again, no, not a big play. We're not getting overly excited because it led to a huge play, but it's just the processing. It's eyes and feet in the right spot, seeing the right things, and getting ball to the right guy in a timely fashion on top of that. Okay, so here we go. Here's that go over here. Okay, so we saw him hit the seam already. So we got a two on one off of this safety to this side. Now the Mike linebacker does open to that side, but the way this is drawn up, we're gonna peek that side anyways. We're gonna peek that side to either make the mic go there or to possibly get that whole shot outside. If I don't like it, I'm gonna to work to the backside concept. Okay, so there it is. He goes this side. This guy never gets past him. We get depth. Mike linebacker goes there. He comes back and he reads this defender. How quickly and definitively it is, that defender stays inside, holds off the end, boom. Get to your hook, get a completion, move the chains. So again, watch the process. Going right, don't like it, back to left, make the read, get the ball out. Don't see hesitation. You don't see him bouncing around. You see him in his eyes telling the story, okay? So this is a play that I call all hooks, okay? So we're basically on the front side running three hooks. Now, if I get the corner off, I get this corner off, I like to read this outside in. So I'm thinking one out here, if this guy pushes out to it, then I replace two, and then if the next guy replaces to it, then I get inside three. So that's normally how I'm going to read it, but there's always times where you gotta feel the game, okay? So as Kenny's going back, he feels that they're dropping into a cover three. This safety is dropping into that cover three spot, but he's dropping in from a high position, and the backside or the middle linebacker is working to the weak side so they can balance this up and have two underneath defenders to each side. So even though you normally want to read it outside in, you got the feel, you see it, you see the window. There's the huge window right now. You recognize that as he's going back, right? 
He's recognizing these things as he's going back. Quick plants, boom, ball out of his hands, right at the sticks, first down. No hesitation, knowing what he's seeing. I mean, it's like night and day from where he's been the entire rest of the year to where he's at now. This is how he was playing in preseason, okay? So again, reading the coverage, okay? So we're going back to the beginning, okay? What's it look like? Looks like they're gonna be in one high. That guy's gonna go there. This guy's dropping down. That means we're probably gonna go to our one-on-one -on, -one on the backside. Okay, on the snap, there they go. They start to go. He verifies it. Eyes go to this safety. That safety goes high and wide, so I no longer have my one-on-one. -on -one. So now I'm gonna read my concept back to the front side. Got a little hook here. I think we got an end coming over the top of it, so my read comes off of that Mike linebacker right here. This Mike linebacker gets depth, replaced right underneath. That Mike linebacker jumps on that, then we get up over the top. But recognize the safety, the rotation, I'm back, I hit my back foot, I know the window's there, boom, ball's out of my hands, not holding it, they can't get pressure to me, because I know where I'm going with the football, and I'm getting it out timely and accurately. Okay, here's another one, this one's tough. Okay, so they're running a little what we call corner. So he's pushing up and he's breaking out. And this is actually pretty good coverage by Cincinnati. You see that coverage right there, right? Trying to get to the sticks. He's running right behind him. A lot of times I've seen Kenny come back. Ah, I'm not taking that. It's too tight. Once again, no hesitation right here. Hit the back foot. Let it go. Look at that throw. Perfect throw because you're not hesitating. You're not worried about missing it. You don't know where you want to go with the football. Boom. Back foot, balls out, small window, right on the money, first down. I don't know if you can tell, I'm a little excited. A little excited about this. I love good quarterback play. I love when you're seeing it and getting out. You're not holding the football. You know definitively where you want to go with the ball. Here, we got goes. Kenny loves to throw go routes. Loves to throw go routes. But we're in a third and eight or nine. And again, they're walking everybody up showing the pressure so I could throw the go route against off coverage, but it's such a low percentage throw. Definitely don't like it on third downs. Definitely not when you're in off coverage. Press coverage, have a little better chance to win early and be successful, but it's still a low percentage throw. So I love this. Off coverage everywhere. Once again, I've got this crosser. Crosser I was gonna hit earlier in the game. It's an easier completion because there's no press. I can get across his face and I've got all this space in front of me. Easier throw, see it. Now, not a great throw. He rushes this a little bit. His weight gets up in front, which he'll have a tendency to do at times. But nonetheless, hit the back foot. I hit the back foot. I'm planning. I'm ready to go. I know what my throw is going to be when I hit that back foot. If the pressure's coming, doesn't matter. I'm going to beat the pressure. Boom. Get my completion. Nice catch. A little help from your buddies. Moving the chains once again.